Insane Power of the M2 Bradley in 1972, the U.S. Army requested design proposals to meet a requirement for a mechanized infantry fighting vehicle. The need for such a vehicle emerged directly from the arrival of the Soviet BMP-1 infantry fighting vehicles, which appeared in 1966 and combined mobility, firepower, and protection for a complete infantry squad. A complex series of design submissions and changing specifications followed until a fighting vehicle system appeared, comprising two vehicles an infantry fighting vehicle, which became the M2 Bradley, and a cavalry fighting vehicle, which became the M3. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at the M2 Bradley and see just how far it has come. Before we look at this, a quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. But now, back to the M2 Bradley. The M2 Bradley or Bradley IFV is an American infantry fighting vehicle manufactured by BAE Systems Land and Armaments which was formerly United Defense. One specific design requirement was that it should be as fast as the new M1 Abrams main battle tank so that they could maintain formations while moving, something which the older M113 armored personnel carrier could not do, as it had been designed to complement the older M60 Patton. The main role of the M2 was to provide protected transport for infantry squads into close contact with the enemy. It offered a significantly higher level of protection for the dismounts than the M113 armored personnel carrier. The M2 Bradley has a welded aluminum armor hull, and the front arc has a space laminated aluminum and steel armor construction. The initial variant, M2A0, provided protection against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds over the front arc. All round protection was likely to be against 7.62 to 12.7mm rounds and artillery shell splinters. Eventually, the protection level was increased on upgraded models, which were also fitted with explosive reactive armor blocks that withstands hits from anti-tank rocket launcher rounds. The M2 Bradley is also fitted with the nuclear, biological, chemical protection system. The vehicle is armed with a two-man turret, fitted with a 25mm dual-fed Bushmaster chain gun. At the time of its introduction, the Bradley was the first infantry fighting vehicle with a fully stabilized main gun. The gun fires both armor-piercing and high-explosive rounds, and there is a tow anti-tank guided missile launcher loaded with two missiles. These missiles have a range of 3,750 meters, and the M2 can carry an additional seven rounds. The Bushmaster chain gun is a single barrel with integrated dual-feed mechanism and remote-feed section. Normal rate of fire is 100 or 200 RPM, with a possible single-shot selection but it can also change the type of ammunition with the simple flick of a switch. Two ready boxes, one of 70 rounds, the other of 230 rounds, are fitted in the turret, but 600 more rounds are stored inside of the hull. There is also a coaxial 7.62 millimeter machine gun. This can fire normal rounds with tracers and maximal range can be 3,700 meters. Although practical combat range on the ground is more likely 800 meters and up to 1800 against air targets, the gunner uses a combined day-sight-night thermal sight link to the commander with a 4 times to 12 times magnification range, plus his lateral periscopes and a daylight backup sight. Interestingly, during the U.S. military actions in Iraq from 2003 until 2011, the Bradley series armored vehicles destroyed more Iranian armored vehicles than the Abrams main battle tank. The original Bradley infantry fighting vehicle accommodated three crew members, commander, gunner, and driver, plus six dismounts. There was a rear-powered operated ramp with integral doors for entry and exit. Early models of the M2 Bradley had firing ports with dedicated 5.56mm assault rifles attached. These firing ports were removed on upgraded models in order to increase protection of the side armor. Original versions of this infantry fighting vehicle were powered by a Cummings VTA 903 T500 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 500 horsepower. The maximum road speed was 66 kilometers per hour, with a range of 480 kilometers. The engine is located at the front and is mated to an automatic transmission. The M2 Bradley weighs 27.6 short tons and measures 6.55 meters in length, 3.60 meters in width, and 2.98 meters in height. The Bradley is designed to cross any terrain, even water, with the use of a swim barrier. It can transition to amphibious mode in five minutes. The newest Bradley models have an inflatable pontoon that is fitted to the front and sides of the vehicle. On water, the Bradley is propelled by spinning its tracks, 
with a top speed of 7 km per hour. Throughout its service life, the M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle Series has been the subject of numerous enhancements to improve combat capabilities and survivability for the vehicle and dismounts. Over the years, there have been four major improvement programs. Operational vehicles were upgraded to the M2A1, M2A2, M2A3, and M2A4 standards. The M2A1 developed in 1986 was fitted with TOW-2 anti-tank guided missiles of new generation. The vehicle was also fitted with explosive reactive armor blocks and an improved nuclear, biological, chemical protection system. The Bradley M2A2 was developed in 1988. This variant was fitted with an upgraded Cummings VTA 903T600 engine, developing 600 horsepower. The vehicle has a strengthened suspension and improved armor protection. Firing ports were removed from the hull sides due to the added armor panels. Anon explosive reactive armor blocks could be fitted for protection against anti-tank rockets and missiles. The hull floor was reinforced with steel plates for improved protection against mines, and the interior was lined with a spall liner. The front arc of the M2A2 withstands hits from 30mm armor-piercing ammunition and all-round protection against 14.5mm heavy machine gun fire. Due to significantly increased weight, this vehicle ended up being underpowered. Maximum road speed was just 56 km per hour and unrefueled range reduced to 400 km. Off-road mobility was also negatively affected. Some sources report that delivery of the Cummings VTA 903T600 engine began in 1991. By 1999, Cummings had delivered well over 11,000 engines for the upgraded Bradleys and various versions of this vehicle. The M2A2 ODS or Operation Desert Storm is an upgraded version developed in 1995. Improvements for this vehicle were based on combat experience during the 1991 Gulf War. Upgraded vehicles were fitted with an iSafe laser rangefinder and tactical navigation system with a GPS receiver. There was a missile countermeasure device that could defeat first-generation wire-guided missiles. Another improvement was a battlefield command information system. The driver's station was fitted with a thermal imaging system for operation at night and in adverse weather conditions. Internal stowage was optimized and an extra seat was added. This meant that the M2A2 could carry seven dismounts instead of six. Croatia has reached an agreement with the USA to purchase 89 of the Desert Storm vehicles for $196.4 million, which included an additional 22 vehicles for spare parts. This makes a unit price of over $2.2 million per used M2A2 ODS vehicle. The next upgraded version of the M2 Bradley is the M2A3, which was introduced in 2002. Currently, this variant is the standard Bradley infantry fighting vehicle in service with the U.S. Army, and most previous Bradley IVFs were upgraded to this standard. The A3 upgrades make the Bradley IFV totally digital and upgrade or improve existing electronic systems throughout, improving target acquisition and fire control, navigation, and situational awareness. Also, survivability of the vehicle is upgraded with a series of armor improvements, again both passive and reactive, as well as improved fire suppression systems and nuclear biological chemical equipment. After the Iraq War, the Army began researching engineering change proposals for the M2 Bradley to restore space, weight, power, and cooling capacity reduced by the addition of armor and electronics hastily added during combat. The new proposals aim to restore mobility and allow the vehicle to handle more weight. The M2A4 is equipped with an enhanced drivetrain, more powerful engine developing 675 horsepower, new digitized electronics, a new fire suppression system, and a new IED jammer. Deliveries of upgraded vehicles commenced in 2020. In 2022, the first operational unit was equipped with the modernized M2A4 Bradley vehicles. The U.S. Army plans to upgrade more than 700 Bradleys to the new standard until 2029. Deliveries of the M2 Bradley commenced in 1981 and have continued since, with totals of over 4,600 vehicles. Some 400 M2 IFVs have been exported to Saudi Arabia. In 2017, a total of 32 M2A2s were delivered to Lebanon, and in 2020, it was announced that 350 M2A2s would be delivered to Greece. Upgraded M2 Bradley IFVs are scheduled to remain in active service with the U.S. military at least until 2029 and beyond and there's no immediate plans to replace this vehicle with a next-generation infantry fighting vehicle. What do you think of the insane power of the M2 Bradley? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.